but we will start with Messi mania. And Yanish, given the fact that you are over this side of the world, what have you thought of it all? How do you think it's all been received over here? Should it have been such a, repri- a surprise that he's lived up to all the hype and been scoring all these goals in these games? It, it shouldn't be a surprise. And I think this part of the world is no different than anywhere else he's played in the world, right? I mean, if you had uh, Leo Messi signing in any part of the world, uh, the Messi mania would be uh, uh, alive and well as well. As well. So in this country, it was a big surprise to too many. I suppose uh, we were hearing things about uh, Leo Messi coming uh, uh, to Miami into the Major League Soccer. Uh, what he's done is exceptional, right? Uh, transformational. And I mean, the impact is for everyone to see. Uh, I'm not going to downplay this by any means because of you know it's major league soccer and and the level of play because it's irrelevant uh, what he's done right i mean it's five goals i mean five games five wins eight goals plus an assist two wonderful free kicks where um, you know but you know those he 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 scored before and he would score against any goalkeeper in any league in the world so i think uh you know as i often say chapeau uh, uh lionel messi because uh he looks like he's ready to play he looks like he enjoys it uh, he's smiling he's loving every minute of it and so is uh major league soccer their fans and and all the eyeballs are on Leo messi it doesn't seem as though Tata Martino is too worried about that sweet left foot of his where he picked up an injury in training, semi-final coming up of the League's Cup against Philadelphia Union tonight. And that's a game that Luis Miguel Echegaray is going to be at. That's what we're going to talk to him about. Rob, how has it been received back in the UK? Has it been as well received? Are everybody keeping up to date with what's going on with Messi? Because we've seen so many of these videos of these goals that he's scoring and the numbers on them going viral. And it, I mean, it has, and, and Janice is right that wherever Messi goes, the attention follows. And it's it's not often that um, there's a big um, coverage of, of MLS um, soccer in, in England, whether it's in newspapers or websites, but there is now because it's it's Lionel Messi. Um, I was in the States even with, with Man United over the summer, and, and we're used to when, when Man United are in the States, that the, the whole news agenda is dominated by Man United. And it wasn't like that at all. You, know, you walk around places, huge cities like um, New York, and, and it's all about Messi, you know, shot fronts decorated with his picture, his shirts um, selling everywhere. And, and I think it's probably the, the same all over the world. You know, Messi is one of those players who, who transcends the sport. It's um, NBA basketball isn't isn't widely followed in England, but everyone knows who LeBron James is. Everyone knows whether you, whether you like soccer or not, everyone knows who Lionel Messi is. He's that bigger a personality and, and that bigger star. Do you think it's going to continue this way, Yanis? Do you think it can continue this way? Well, I think it can. Uh, uh, obviously, I mean, he's going to be probably when it's all said and done, he's going to be somewhere, you know, a goal game at, at the very least. I mean, uh, here we are in next couple of weeks. Uh, um, you know, he's going to have a chance, I suppose, to win uh, uh, the League Cup. Uh, there's a chance uh, in U.S. Cup, of course, the, the cup competition in the United States uh, where they face Cincinnati in, in the semifinals. So uh, from the off, uh, there's an opportunity for, for an inter team that's dead last in Major League Soccer. That's going to be interesting by the way when these competitions are over and major league soccer returns to their regular schedule uh we're right in the end uh enter as i mentioned our last so you know is there a shout for them to somehow make it to the ninth spot it, it's it's not going to be easy I, I can't remember i think there's 10 12 uh, points difference but uh, uh i think he's going to continue that and the reason i say that is because the one thing that i was wondering about what his attitude towards playing in Major League Soccer is going to be. Is it going to be one of those that, you know, I mean, one of the greatest, if not the greatest, depending on who you speak with, uh, playing for clubs like PSG, Barcelona, of course, winning the World Cup uh, uh, with Argentina very recently. You know, you ask yourself, where's the motivation for Lionel Messi, who's normally very quiet, very reserved and the pictures that we see, my goodness. I mean, it's great to watch because, to be honest, I didn't expect it. He, he's embracing it. He's loving it. You know, like, you know, young players like the 18-year-old Kremeski uh, and Argentine uh, uh, is looking great. Rob Taylor, all the players around him. And, oh, by the way, it is Leo Messi, but it's not just Leo Messi, of course, because uh, uh, Sergio Busquets and, and uh, Jordi Alba have made an, a massive difference to that team as well. OK, what a run as it has been, Luis Miguel. I mean, you've been there for most of it, if not all of it. Tell us a bit more about what it's been like to be there and witness this historic moment, especially in American soccer history. 
Honestly, Kay, and hi, everybody. It's great. It's great to be here. It's been surreal. I mean, obviously, we knew that the expectations of Lionel Messi coming to the US was going to be monumental. I, I wrote a feature about it. We've been talking uh, to people all over the country, not just South Florida about it. And it's been incredible. Just And whenever you enter uh, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, that area, everybody's talking about it. Everybody. I, I get into an Uber, and the moment they, they know that I'm there for the game, they want to talk about it. I go to a restaurant, they want to talk about it. I go you know, to, to other cities, and, and everybody's just so influenced by this, by this movement. And it's obviously not surprising in many ways. But then, Kay, the game begins, and it's kind of incredible to see just a diversity of people, not just South Floridians, just just be enthralled by what's happening. I mean, we already have talked about how monumental this has been. But as the games continue, and the fact that he scored eight goals in five League Cup matches, you know, all this ridiculous stuff that's going on, it's just unbelievable. I mean, hopefully what's happening because of that, and it is, because I have seen it from the moment I watched their first game against Cruz Azul to the last one against Charlotte. It's not just Messi. Inter Miami's looking better. Right, Benjamin Cremashi, the young Argentinian American, he's a real talent as well. Their uh, keeper calendar, he's looking good as well. So, so it's great to see tonight against Philadelphia Union is their toughest test, and I I'm excited to to see what's going to go. I'll go. I'm going to be going taking the train, K. Murray, right after this, and I'll I'll be going right there to Philly. Yes, we won't keep it too long. So let me get a few questions into one. What to expect ahead of tonight's game? You said it's going to be a tougher test. How Messi's foot is? Tata Martinez, uh, Tata Martino has said there's not too much need to worry about his foot going into this one. And just from what you've seen, Luis Miguel, if this can actually continue. Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. Can it continue? Because a few factors, right? He's 36 years old. Uh, Argentina is going to come knocking around the door when the World Cup qualifiers come to town in September. The schedule is going to be a little bit tougher, right, in terms of MLS and trying to make the playoffs, which is almost, almost impossible to make. But League's Cup and Open Cup gives them a, a route to get Champions Cup glory, of course. But yes, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So we're hoping that to see more of Messi as long as he stays fit. In terms of that injury, everybody calm down. Whenever he sneezes, everybody freaks out. If a mosquito bites on Messi's arm, we freak out. He had an awkward sort of step and then he finished off training. He's in Philadelphia. He should be good to go. But tonight against Philadelphia Union, who have only conceded four goals at the Leaf Cup, they've lost once. K. Murray, Janusz Michalek, Rob Dawson, once since 2021 at home, right? Won in last 28 matches. I love Jim Curtin. I think he makes a really organized team out of Philadelphia Union. So this will be the toughest test for Messi. But Philadelphia Union has never faced Lionel Messi. So there is that last as well. Question. Last question coming from one of our viewers. Does Inter Miami win any silverware this year with Messi? Yes, I think so. I think they have a legitimate chance at winning. Let's see. I think they're going to win the League's Cup. I think it's really tough to go away at Cincinnati, who are just killing it right now and making it happen. But I think they're going to win this League's Cup. I think they're going to win tonight, and then they'll face – I think Nashville will win the other one, and then they'll win it, which would be Ooh, incredible. I know. Nashville. Listen, like, I've seen Inter Miami from Cruz Azul to now, and it's incredible to me what a player, even Messi, can do – to just the entire squad. Obviously, Busquets helps. Obviously, Jordi Alba helps. But everybody's feeling so confident. Hey, by the way, last point, Kay. Obviously, he's been doing Marvel superhero celebrations, right? The first one was Thor, right? The second one was Wakanda Forever. The third one was Spidey. What do you think is going to be tonight? I think it's going to be the Hulk. Like, just rip it all out. Yeah, what do you think? Hulk. <laughs> Hulk. That would be cool. Can, um, and we're going to let you go and pack your sandwiches Luis, that's a nice little train journey for you. Uh, we'll no doubt be checking in with you again soon. We look forward to seeing your reports from that game and we look forward to seeing what Messi's got to offer next in that League's Cup semi-final. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, everybody. Have a good one. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.